because we've got Ollie Olson and Michael Hutchins from Max Q on the show with us tonight. That's true. Greetings. Now, the Max Q album, you play a lot of guitar on it, is that right? <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> now you're laughing. No, no, I don't. I don't play. Oh, uh, yeah, wait a minute. There is. Is there? No. No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> on the demos, I did. Yes, well, yes. Well, we, don't, we didn't hear the demos. Oh, we'll put them out next year. <laughs> so who plays what? Uh, I don't know. Everybody oh, else. So we don't play anything. No, I, I did a lot of the keyboards. You did the keyboards, yeah. yeah. The, the um, basic line up is me and Gus, Gus Till, who's a sort of person with an alien squid on his head sucking his brains out. <laughs> In other words, he's got dreadlocks. Um, <laughs> Uh, he plays keyboards, I play keyboards, John Murphy on percussion, mm. Arnie Hanna on guitar, Michael Sheridan on guitar, he's also in my band now, uh, Bill McDonald on bass, he's also in my band now, and that's it. And then we had uh, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't say anything about him. What's his, uh, what's uh, his he, name? Uh, what did you, uh, he sang. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I sang. Here's another, another person who's famous for singing, Deborah Harry. She's great. Now she used to be in Blondie. This is a song called I Want That Man. Any thoughts on that? Any thoughts on Deborah or Blondie? Um, I, I used to love man. Blondie when I was a youthful punk rocker. I was very fond of them. I, I saw them many them years ago in Australia and they were great. Live band. I, yeah, good one, I yeah. haven't heard this song. Well, it's sort of a return to what she's doing in Blondie. Really? This is Deborah Harry with I Want That Man. Postmodern MTV, this is Ollie, this is Michael from Max Q. Yeah, now, like, if people were thinking that you were going to do this project, Michael, that yeah. was to the way to the left, this alternative mm -hmm. way to the left adventurous project from In Excess, mm. it doesn't like quite sound like that, though. It's not. No, like it's more commercial than In Excess in many places, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. That's his fault. That's because yeah, he wants so to be a big I wanted, rock star. I wanted to make a commercial you know, record. <laughs> I mean, it's like. No, we did want it. Yeah, we did. Because I, you know. Really, you know, well, we want to make, <laughs> want to make something accessible but good. Yeah, you know, it's just good pop music. That's all. Is there, there's a pop star beating in that heart, in that punk rock or uh, heart? No, well, he he thinks so. I mean, no, not really. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm really cut out for being a pop star. No, nah, you, you know. just want fame. No, I just like the idea of being just sneaky. Fame. I'm into being very sneaky. Famous and I really man. like, you know, like the implications of having hit records with lyrics that aren't necessarily deemed mm. normal in the, in the pop. pop world. So, I guess it's sort of vaguely subversive. Well, one would hope so, anyway. So that's sort of where the edge in Max Q comes from. Uh, I think also in mm. also, also uh, in the fact that the, the album is a very eclectic record in terms of musical influences and the sorts of things like uh, we've got everything from like you know like it's like one track I could describe as track called Concrete or describe as Leonard Cohen meets Throbbing Gristle meets <laughs> uh, <coughs> meets Barry White uh, you know like yeah. a very bizarre you know, kind of crossover meets know, meets us. Yeah. And we all had a lovely party. <laughs> yes, it was lovely. Right there in the same. Now we're going to yeah. get back to that, but right now we're going to see a video. This Camper Van Beethoven, mm -hmm. a band from a place that was just hit by an earthquake, yeah. San Jose or Santa Cruz, actually. I'm not sure exactly Santa where they're Cruz. from, either San Jose or Santa Cruz. Uh, do you like Camper? Have you heard them? Yeah, I like yeah. them. I, li I really like the record they did with Eugene Chadbourne. I thought that was, I really liked that. Camper Van Beethoven, yeah. Chadbourne, yeah. yeah. All right, this is Pictures of Matchstick Men from Camper Van Beethoven on Postmodern That's MTV. I'm just going to get my hair right. Uh, hey, after this break on Postmodern MTV, a little something from this group called In Excess.